right? We just made it to the house, guys, because we have some updates this week. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, you would have missed the most recent update, which is the exterior of the house is already painted. Joe was originally the one who vouched for this darker gray color, which I was totally against, but I'm so glad that Joe won that argument because it looks so beautiful. It looks so modern. I love it. And as of a couple days ago, I have a new update for you guys. I feel like this part of the build has been delayed for, I want to say over a month now. So I'm super excited to show you guys, okay? Ready? Close your eyes. I said close your eyes. Okay, are you ready? Okay, you could open your eyes now. <gasps> we have walls! <laughs> Now that the drywalls are up, it definitely feels like this massive grand home. And it has just been so long. The fact that this looks like a house now. And clearly you can see they have started taping already. It seems like they only started taping the facade of the walls. I don't see any corners done yet. And this is just some of the positive news. Unfortunately, with this positive news, we also have some negative news. But I don't want to disclose that until the issues have some sort of resolution. So it's really important that we focus on the positives and when a problem does come up, we're very solution oriented because that's actually what's going to take the project to the next level, take the project to the next step. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> I had to move because it was so freaking hot in the house. I could not even think of what I had to say to you guys. What was I talking about? Oh, solution-based mindset versus negative problem-based mindset. Of course, Joe and I want this house to be done. It's getting to the point where we've signed the contract over a year ago. We still have the baby on the way. We're building our family. We still have work. This house has been such a thorn in our side for the past year, but it's so important that we understand the problems within this project. We are looking and proactive about finding solutions. That way it's not controlling our life because we have lives to live. That being said, baby and I do have an errand to run. It is daddy's birthday tomorrow. And unfortunately, the only thing that Joe really wants is this house to be finished, which I cannot give him. So we're just gonna get him a little something for tomorrow, something to make him smile. <laughs> to the negative news that we have received that I have not told you guys yet, but I promise I will. On top of that negative news, we also received more negative news. And although I knew this was something I was going to have to process even more, it just feels that I cannot catch a break. But at the end of the day, I have to be realistic on what is happening for the future of my baby and she's coming soon. And the most important thing that I can give her is love, a loving home, a loving environment. And whether that is in my home that I have purchased with my husband and it's fully decorated, or if it's in this room, those are still things she really deserves and those are still things I really want to give her. And based off of what is happening, I know that this is going to be her home for the first few months of her life. And that's not a bad thing. I know I, it seems like I'm really upset, but it's not a bad thing. It's just something that I have to come to terms with, process and move with my best foot forward. That being said, I feel that if she were here today, I would not want her to see this mess. 
I still have some bags in this corner, like my suitcase and some boxes underneath there. I have my yoga mat and my camera equipment. And there's weird things in other places, so I just want to get that all settled out. So that way I have a place to put the bassinet, I have a place to put my breastfeeding pump, I have a place to change her. I have to figure out where to put her clothes. So no, Joe and I did not receive the best news yesterday, which is a bummer. We're all about the solution. So if our solution is that this is our first nest and our first place as a family, I'm going to make it the cutest and best functioning nest I can possibly create and make sure that it is filled with the love that I want to start my family off with. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed it, because I know I did.